This is the layout of a proof, the equal segments proof. If you saw the last video, number 38, you saw a layout of a proof for midpoints. So, I'm giving you some examples that you can base your work off of so you can know how to do this. All right, let's look at the whole board here. This is my explanation over here, so don't worry about that. We have our drawing up above our proof table, as we should, and we have our given and our prove over here, what needs to be proven. So, let's see what we've got, okay? First, I'll show you the drawing. I purposely made purple lines, and WX is a green line, and if you look, YZ is orange, and XZ is pink, okay? There's a reason for that. It was so that we could pick it out very easily like this, see? So, here's our given statement. WX, segment WX is a segment bisector of YZ. Green WX is a segment bisector of YZ. Okay? Looks like it is. It cuts right down the middle there. So we have to prove that YZ, that entire bottom, is equal to the pink XZ times 2. So here's XZ. If you multiply this times 2, would you get the entire bottom is what they're asking. Okay? That's what we have to prove. So here are our statements, here are our reasons, and here we go. We've got the green WX is a segment bisector of YZ. Okay? That's given. All right? The second step we made was YX, which is from here to here, is equal to XZ. Our reasoning is the definition of a segment bisector, which says a segment bisector divides a segment into two equal segments. So that definition, that definition of a segment bisector is our reason why this is true, okay? That this is equal to this because of the de definition of a segment bisector, okay? Therefore, yz is equal to 2xz, 2 times xz, this, I'm sorry, yx, or, or yeah, yz. This entire thing is equal to this times 2. If these two sides are equal and congruent, and you want to prove that this is equal to two of these, we did it with the definition of the segment bisector, and this prove is proven because of the substitution principle or property. If two quantities are equal, then they can be substituted for each other. So that's our, that's our reasons, okay? So this is basically what we did. It's given that the green line bisects the bottom line. The left side of the bottom line equals the right side of the bottom line based on the definition of a segment bisector. If the left side of the bottom and the right side of the bottom are both equal, then if you multiply half this bottom line by 2, it'll equal the whole bottom line. Ta-da! So, we just did a proof for equal segments. And stay tuned because our next video is a layout of a proof for perpendicular lines.